2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Tell him sit down. Be humble. 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 Sit down. Coming at you from beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, as the Pelicans prepare to take the court. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Today's game marks the continuation of Houston's road schedule. Very strong basketball is the recipe for them right now. Four straight wins, looking for number five. You know what, they're almost perfect in their approach right now. I mean, mentally, physically, strategically, everything seems to have fallen into place. They're bound to hit a bump at some point in the road, but right now, everything is all systems go. To keep winning, I think it's important that they avoid looking too far ahead. Just take the cliched one game at a time. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, James Harden is a great offensive player, but there's no mistaking it, he does dominate the ball. Now, that can bother teammates sometimes, but Coach Mike D'Antoni says when they feel that paycheck every two weeks, that should make them play hard. You have to be a star in your role. So when James gets the ball to you, shoot it, and then run back and play hard as heck. Kevin? Thanks. He's a great passer, David. There's no doubt he can set the table. Obviously, two teams, same conference, lots of history between them. Should be a good one. Brent, who are some of your favorite rivals to compete against? You know, just growing up around the game of basketball, Kevin, for me to step on the floor uh, against the jerseys, maybe not so much about the, the player that's in the jersey, but to see Lakers in purple or to see Celtics in green. That, that to me got my juices flowing. And then, obviously, selfishly, anytime I had the opportunity to play against my brother John, oh boy, I was ready to go. You, you love it. Yeah, yeah, you savored that. I love that answer, by the way. Playing the team, not necessarily the individual. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. The two pillars of this team, Chris Paul and Harden, are the one and the two. Anderson is down low with Capella, and it's a reason in at the three, the small forward. And so the New Orleans Pelicans get the first points of the ball game. Cousins against Capella. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Cousins. Davis has got his second basket of the night. Sometimes Cousins, with how well he sees the floor, has those bullet passes. That one on a string. Here's Paul. And the rejection by Cousins. And now the Pelicans on the break. Holiday with the ball. Davis, the pass to Rondo. Back to Davis. 13 feet away. Another one falls for New Orleans. A bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. On the wing, Harden, guarded by Holiday. Five to shoot. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Passes to Cousins. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Cousins has got his first two points. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. It's stolen by Rondo. And now here's Rondo, the fast break opportunity. Looks for Holiday, gets it to him. And the rejection by Harden. the inbound here's Cousins and the officials now calling the shooting foul he got a lot of ball on the block but also got the body so so some free throws coming up right now 
The Pelicans shooting their first free throw of the night here. One shot. And that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, and last season, DeMarcus Cousins moving on in that blockbuster trade. Really impossible to get equal value for a star like Cousins. Uh, but he was pleased, I think, to put all the rumors of being traded to bed. Ariza against Moore. Just five on the clock. The Rockets with another miss. The Pelicans have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Outside Holiday. Davis sets a screen. And Holiday kicks to Cousins. Here's Ariza. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. And with Cousins, he found out that he was being traded to the Pelicans while at the All-Star game in New Orleans. And it's never easy fitting in with another star like the Brow, but Cousins is just so skilled that you knew they would find a balance. And at the end of the day, Cousins seems to be happy with the team who is committed to him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Anderson against Davis. And there's the feed to Holiday. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Holiday's got his first three points of the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Playing on the road, always a challenge, but it becomes a heck of a lot easier when you can shoot the three ball the way they did. I just like their confidence. Even when they did miss, it felt like that's the shot they were designing to get, so it never seemed to phase them. He brought the season about halfway through. Some teams really starting to sag. How bad do you have to be at this point to start thinking about rebuilding going into next year? Well, I don't know. It's, it's a bit tenuous, Kevin. Do you start talking about rebuilding or just giving guys on your roster now an opportunity to experience some NBA play, giving them high-level competition. You know, some of the players may be going to Summer League. They want to have a bit of confidence going to Vegas or to Orlando to expand their game. So maybe not so much about a rebuild as it is about gaining experience at the close of the season. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for the Rockets. And no doubt they relied upon that three-point shot to provide a big chunk of their scoring. Now, that's been a trend in the modern NBA, and, and they took that philosophy and, and ran with it. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Paul kicks to Anderson. Back to Paul. Houston moving it around. Here's Harden on the wing. Guarded by Holiday. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And watching James Harden, the, the amount of shots he is able to create for himself and his teammates, he just does so much from his position that is unrivaled. One of the greatest offensive threats, not only today, but really of the last decade. Free throw drops for Harden. And for Harden, he's been in the conversation, Greg, for MVP for several years. The way he's able to just carry an offense with his creativity garners attention. And, and Kevin, I, I think he might have won it last year if it wasn't for the amazing season put in by Russell Westbrook. Don't count Harden out, though. He's such a unique talent on offense. Maybe this will be his year to bring home that MVP award. And the Pelicans' 2017 first-round pick went to the Kings as part of the DeMarcus Cousins trade. Brent, how does this team find help along the perimeter? 
a lot of this comes down to the Pelicans and, and scouting not only the NBA and the college ranks, but maybe the international ranks to try to find some guys to come in and be not only three and D players, but also good cohesive players to play alongside what DeMarcus Cousins can do and what Anthony Davis provides. Here is Harden after Rajon Rondo's bucket. Up off the screen and the jam by Harden. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. Now here's Rondo. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Holiday up top. Cousins with a screen on Hart. Six to shoot. Holiday dishes to Davis. Over Anderson. That one off the back iron and out. Rockets trail by 10. It's Harden with the drive and Harden with the stuff. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. Rondo kicks to Cousins. Outside Holiday. Moore against Ariza. Moore outside. The three. And Cousins throws it down. Down on the offensive glass, Cousins is so powerful and a great job there of reading the angle to collect one. Paul kicks to Harden. Back to Paul. Harden outside. Capella with a screen on Hubbard. Ariza has the open look. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Ariza's got five now. And Harden is more than just a score. He's also got some sensational handles and passing instincts. Loves connecting with his teammates. Now here's Rondo. Cousins, the pass to Davis. Davis sets a screen. Here's Rondo. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Chris Paul picks up that one. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. Well, a few things have become clear with Rondo in the past few seasons. One, Greg, he needs to be happy with his situation in order to be productive. And two, he can give you big numbers at times, but he isn't the player he once was on that Celtic team. Yeah, and, and Rondo, just he's such a hard-headed guy and has his own way of approaching things. If you clash with him, everything goes up in flames with his game. He needs to be on the same page with his coach, and he's running out of coaches who will put up with him. Brent, when you were playing, your ability to pass and shoot, and you were 6'7", really a positionless player before the term became popular. You could play so many ways in so many different positions all over the floor. I would think that would fit today's game perfectly. Well, that's nice of you to say, Kevin. I'd like to think that I was a bit of a a switchblade player, especially the way the offenses now are expanding to the three-point line and giving guys with creativity a lot of room to operate. And if the first available shot's an open three for a guy on your team, uh, I, I could I could probably sink my teeth into something like that. You like positionless basketball? Why do you like watching it now? Well, that's the way I play defense, Kevin, positionless. <laughs> <laughs> And here's Rondo after Trevor Ariza just hit the three. Here's Davis. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Well, the defense looking at him like a Rubik's Cube. They cannot figure him out. He continues to light him up from the field. More importantly, they're winning. Now here's Harden. Boy, was he something else against Dallas. Ariza kicks to Gordon. Offline with his three. New Orleans leading by seven. Loads it up for Davis. Well, the O looks unstoppable tonight, especially because of that guy. He's just torching them. Harden dishes to Gordon. Screen by Capella. Now here's Ariza. He had a big outing in that Mavericks game as well. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. And more kicks to Davis. Pass to Holiday. Back to Davis. Shoots over Capella. 
and it's Davis missing. Rockets trail by six. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. Taken away by Holiday. Rondo against Harden. Outside Rondo. High post Cousins. And the layup's good off the glass. Cousins has got nine. And this is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here's Harden on the wing. Dishes it to Capella. For three, Gordon. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside Rondo. Back to Cousins. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And it's a 10-point Pelican lead. Here's Gordon. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Now a timeout called by Houston. Greg, when you watch DeMarcus Cousins play, you can see the beating he takes in the post, can't you? Yeah, and that's just how he goes with star centers with the size and activity of Cousins. And just like Shaq in the sense, big bruising centers are hard to officiate. Other players can lay into them and not even make a dent, but anyone else, it would be a foul. You look at DeMarcus Cousins, what a contribution. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Substitution here for New Orleans. Cunningham, he's checked in for Davis. Miller comes in for each one more. Clark, he's checked in for Drew Holland. And Nelson is subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Houston also making some changes. Lax checked in for Clint Capella. Bahamute comes in for Ryan Anderson. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Trevor Ariza. And here's Nelson. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Nelson, the pass to Cousins. And they double up Cousins. Cunningham kicks to Clark. Here's the screen. There's the dish to Miller. They get the rebound. Cousins. The tricks of the big man, DeMarcus Cousins, on display there. Terrific at showing the ball, getting his man to jump out of position and taking full advantage. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And guys, you might remember that he was not at his best from the foul line in their last outing. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Brent, when you played, you were able to score in a variety of ways. Which do you think you were better at, shooting off the catch or off the dribble? There's no doubt that shooting off the catch, Kevin, was much easier for me. I love the fact that I could get my feet set start to anticipate when the ball was coming, who the ball was coming from, and then establish my own rhythm for each of those opportunities to cast away at the rim. I would think, though, you get rhythm by working off the dribble, too. Yeah, sometimes you have to be able to do that, but I oftentimes use that dribble to maybe create another opportunity for a teammate. And then the other idea, Kevin, is if you're a great catch-and-shoot player, the pump fake and one dribble in, that's something you have to perfect to keep the defense honest in terms of their closeout. Now, here is Nelson. His last outing, he had eight points. Right wing. Here's Cunningham. Good! And a nice assist from Nelson. And the Pelicans lead by 12. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. It feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. Here's Clark. He's guarded by Mbamute. And that one's good by Clark. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. 
Yeah, you can credit the play calling. Nothing really fancy, just imposing their will on the inside. Now here's Gordon. A 17-point game for him in the win against Dallas. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Here is Cunningham. They lead by 14. The pass to Cousins. Over on Bob Mute. That's no good, but only his first miss in six shots. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. Harden outside. Looking to end the run. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And when you watch this Rockets team, you can see just how explosive they are on the offensive end. Almost everyone on the floor can hurt you from deep, and they all know their role and execute it to a tee. First free throw is good. And last season, the Rockets' offense was incredible. Then they go and add Chris Paul. They can run a team off the floor if they get hot. Two great playmakers in Paul and Harden. And making a move for Paul made a lot of teams fear what the Rockets can do now on offense. And the Pelicans making a change here. Ashik's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. And the southpaw stroke of Harden is just beautiful to watch. When he's cooking, he's one of the more lethal scorers in our league. Now, here is Nelson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Cunningham's shot is off. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Here's Gordon. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Here's Tucker. The Rockets again can't hit. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. From 12 feet out, he can't get that one to fall. Harden with the defensive effort. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. In the corner, it's Gordon. Over in the corner, and Amute. The offensive rebound. Bucket earned, out muscling and out hustling everybody for the rebound. Clark. And no good. Demarcus Cousins, he's been the guy making things happen for the New Orleans Pelicans. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Back to the action after this word. Chris Paul told us about the depth of their roster. So important for any team. Our bench is amazing. It's so exciting because when our bench comes in, uh, more often than not, if we're losing, they're going to get us the lead. And if we have the lead, they're going to increase the lead. And it's, it's fun to watch because everybody cheers for each other, too. When your starters feel that good about their second unit, guys, that's a heck of a asset that a team can have and if you've seen Chris Paul cheering from the bench you know that it's very very true and Kevin that's the kind of team that that's always been so much fun to play on everybody's really pulling for one another no matter who's playing e even in practice uh, with that kind of a team you, you tend to have more fun welcome back folks we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second and before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Such a great way to get yourself into an offensive groove and build up some early confidence. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So the Pelican five right now. Nelson is out there with Ian Clark. And it's Miller. 
Then it's Omer Asher, and it's Cunningham in at the four spot. And so here is New Orleans after the Rockets pick up three. Nelson, no luck. Man, it just hurts to miss shots like this. Mentally, you question yourself, and it can affect your confidence. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Pelicans do have their challenges, but Anthony Davis remains committed to winning in New Orleans. He said, I love it here. I don't plan on leaving. Yes, I fit into that old school category where I want to try to win where I start my career. And it's always been a goal of mine. My goal is to bring a championship here. Kevin? And David, loyalty does go a long way. Davis is a perfect guy to build your team around. He wants to win. Here's Cunningham, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And Cunningham is just an athletic big man who knows how to get to the free throw line. First trip to the line for him here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. That's good from Cunningham. And from the day that Anthony Davis was drafted, New Orleans had a win now mindset. Well, that's what the decree from the upper management was. And maybe a little bit unfair to put that kind of pressure on such a young superstar talent who wanted to find his way in the NBA. The front office focused on making some trades and surrounding him right away without understanding exactly what Anthony Davis was going to be good at. Let's face it, he's still great, and there's still that opportunity for AD. Now here's Paul. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Mavericks in Dallas. Well, I think he was especially impressive on the glass. The defense had no idea what to do with him. Some guys just take pride in how they set screens. It might seem like a small part of the game, but as you saw there, it can have a huge impact in getting a shooter an open look at the basket. He used that screen to perfection and got a wide open look to knock down the jumper. Right side green. No good that time. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And, you know, it wasn't just that they got stops. It was the way they got stops. Rejection after rejection. Yeah, after a while, it just felt like they were demoralizing the opponent. It affected them mentally, and they took advantage. Timeout called the Rockets. We know the importance of ball movement, Brent, but when the offense bogs down, someone needs to get it done in isolation. Could you pick anybody who you would go to? Yes, Kevin. He plays in Cleveland. Yes. For the Cavaliers. Cavaliers. And his name is LeBron James. Ah, uh, yes. Have you seen LeBron him play? James. Yeah, I'll take that guy. Okay. That's a good guy. <laughs> that's, that's a real good guy. see stats for Paul. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Third in assists, 13th in steals, and tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And as you mentioned, top three in assists right now. He does a great job of running the offense, spotting the open guy, and making the sound delivery. Here's Black. He can't get it to go. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Miller with a wide open look. Good, and a nice assist from Nelson. Nelson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Rockets trail by 14. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. They set the pick. 
Here is Mbaamute, nailed from three-point land. Mbaamute has got himself on the board with three there. Nelson with it. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And looks like the that's illegal great. pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Not a problem. First turnover of the game, but, but overall, I like how they're taking care of the basketball. New Orleans making some changes here. Anthony Davis comes in for Miller, and it's Drew Holiday in for Ian Clark. Houston also making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Tark Black. Anderson comes in for Mbamut. And Trevor Ariza has subbed in for P.J. Tucker. Now here's Ariza. Eight points for him. Feeds it to Anderson. On the wing, Green. Ariza kicks to Paul. Trying to find Capella, gets it to him. An emphatic alley-oop jam. When your point guard has those kind of excellent instincts, ripping the D to pieces comes along with it. And the replay presented by Under Armour. Unleash chaos, giving us the chance to enjoy that alley-oop all over again. But they'll get another chance. And another shot. Up again, Davis on the follow. Davis. And the Pelicans lead by 11. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Screen by Capella. Green gets to a reason. Off target from three-point range. New Orleans gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Cunningham kicks to Davis. From outside the arc. And another three for New Orleans. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. And here is Green. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. That's it, and the Pelican lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Chris Paul. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Cunningham's shot is off. The Rockets have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over Nelson. Here's Capella. How on the play. Basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. Pretty ferocious and sheer determination shown on that one. Easy to see why he gets those easy scoring opportunities. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Ashik. Etwan Moore comes in for Cunningham. Marjan Rondo is subbed in for Jameer Nelson. And that one misses. Over the decades, the way the league has grown, phenomenal. Doing no small part to the leadership. Brent, what are some of the key traits you've seen of these two great NBA commissioners? I think the one thing about both David Stern and Adam Silver that they have done a great job with is that they're approachable. There, there doesn't seem to be a time, at least in an NBA player's career, where they don't feel like they could either call the office and within maybe a day or two hear from somebody from the league office. But the fact that both David Stern and Adam Silver find their way out to arenas throughout the regular season, come to see every team, that approachability, I think, far and away sets those two gentlemen aside. And how about the career progression of Trevor Ariza? Uh, you know, he came into this league somewhat as, as an energy player who, you know, obviously could attack the rim. Now he's one of those guys who's primarily a 3 and D component. And the wide open shot from Paul trains the three-pointer. Paul's got six. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. There's a screen. Rondo dishes to Cousins. Kicks it to Moore. Cousins with a screen on Ariza. Back to Cousins. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. For Ariza, his first few years in the NBA, over half his shots came within a few feet of the rim. Greg now over two-thirds of his shots are from beyond the arc. And that's just how it goes 
for some players in, in the NBA. Ariza still, he has some bursts to finish at the rim, but has turned himself into a deep threat, and he's always been a presence with his defense as well. Here's Rondo, following the three by Houston. He used that pick to perfection. 17 points for DeMarcus Cousins. And this is why he's one of the top scorers in the game. He can just get it rolling at the drop of a hat. Green kicks to Capella. Green the screen. Paul with the three. Paul can't get that one to fall. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Rondo passes to Cousins. Holiday dishes to Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. They grabbed their own miss. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. It's Ariza on the wing. The three-pointer no good. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And Cousins kicks to Moore. A three. No good from Cousins. Pockets trail by 11. Outside, Green. And the dunk by Capella. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Rondo. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Davis. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. AD already in his young career averaging over 22 points a game. And he can score in isolation, but where he's very elite is finishing off the assist and also as a guy who runs the floor at his size extremely well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And with Davis's length, awfully tough, Brent, to block his shot around the basket. Well, I think that gives him confidence that he can get around any defender. And, and Kevin, I would tell you, if Anthony Davis is a good defender himself, he can pick up some of the visual clues against the guys who are trying to defend him where he can become a more offensive player. Both good from the line that time. Rockets trail by 11. Outside Gordon. He dishes it to Harden. For the three. That's good from Ariza on the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And again, New Orleans has no luck. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shoot. Some defenses are okay with giving up the mid-range shot. In this case, they contest it. Now here's Harden. He's got 14 down low. Yep, it goes in, and the Pelican lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from Capella. You know, he didn't score the ball much in the first quarter, but he has been really, really solid during the second quarter. I expect a big game from him now. The drive by Rondo. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And just enjoy watching Rondo utilize that speed on the drive. Just kind of nice through the defense there and dares you to attack it. For New Orleans, they have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That one is off. And they've had their difficulties from the line here in the second. Could extend their lead if they just make some more free throws.
No good on the second free throw. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. That's his first foul. Outside Holiday. Davis setting the pick for Holiday. Down low. Over in the corner, Cousins. New Orleans moving the ball around. Another shot. Rocket six. And the shot no good. A bit short. Rockets trail by six. Harden outside. Capella with a screen on run. Off the pick. And the dunk by Capella. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here's Cousins. He had 16 points in the win against Charlotte. Felt like he also was prepared for whatever the opposition was coming at him with. He was either contesting shots or swatting them away. Just a dominant defensive performance all the way around. Here's Gordon following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. Great concentration from Eric Gordon, who caps off the drive with the basket. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to be on James Harden. And when you look at the Pelicans, it, you got to expect for them to be one of the top defensive teams in the league. You've got the Twin Towers down low, and Drew Holiday is in the top handful, I think, of defensive point guards in the league. Two shots. That free throw good from Cousins. Andrew Holiday at 6'4". Greg, great size for the point guard position. And his height enables him to cover shooting guards. At the same time, he does a great job of keeping smaller players in front of him. Darius Miller, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. The Rockets also changing it up. Tarek Black, he's checked in for Clint Capella. And Bahamute comes in for Anderson. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Trevor Ariza. Now here's Harden. 14 points for him. 50 seconds left to play here in the half. Buries it from three-point range. And Ba'amute has got six points. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Here is Miller. Five points in the game. He kicks it to Davis. He feeds it to Rondo. Over Harden. Nice shot by Rondo. He's got five. And, you know, he's proven to be capable at, at sinking that mid-range jump shot. Uh, Rondo has to be respected from that part of the floor. Now Gordon. They set the screen. Harden outside. Goes back up. And no good trying to get that one. DeMarcus Cousins, he's been the guy making things happen for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, you're leading at the half. What will you continue to emphasize to your team? Well, I mean, defensively, we still have to be good. we got to rebound the basketball. And then we've got to continue to push the basketball and score offensively. We'll see if you can keep that going in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Welcome Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. DeMarcus Cousins having an outstanding game. He had 21 points, 10 rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, your thoughts? How the Pelicans are playing? Well, I like that they're aggressively going to the rack. That establishes an attitude, a certain toughness. They just need to stay committed to their game plan. Shaq. How'd you think the Rockets were playing? I think it was their passing that's kept them in the game. You can see it in their assist numbers. They were very, very unselfish. The ball moving from side to side, 
guys making good cuts. It's enabled them to create a lot of chances. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You look at DeMarcus Cousins in this game. He has been everywhere. And how about that already through two quarters? And some change. He's got a double-double. Well, it's an impressive performance thus far, but it goes beyond just his ability right now. He's just simply outworking the opponent. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Rockets trail by five. And on the four for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Filling out the wings, it's Harden and Ariza. Anderson is down low with Capella. And it's Paul in at the points. Yeah, they're having a tough time containing Harden here tonight. No surprise there. And Holiday kicks to Davis. And Davis throws it down. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Anderson with the screen for Capella. Paul with the three. Sinks the triple. Paul's got nine. Well, Chris Paul tinkering now with the defense, reacting well off the pick, and then he capitalizes as well. They set the pick. Screened by Cousins, and Holiday kicks to Moore. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Harden, and the jam by Harden. He really takes off, just never looks back. Yeah, by the time anyone even thinks of chasing him, he's gone. Now, here's Cousins. He's got 21. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Cousins has got 23. Now, some mid-range game, it's always gonna happen for a big guy, especially on pick and pop situations. It continues to be a problem for the defense from there. And Holiday kicks to Moore. Pass to Rondo. There's the feed to Holiday. Pass to Cousins. Over Anderson. That's tipped. And getting a hand in the shooter's face, locking down that in-between area. Just taking on the challenge on every possession. I love defenders who give nothing away. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three or four to start it off. Harden against Holiday. Paul left side. Ring shot on the way. And the shot goes in. Paul's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. And Chris Paul, one of the best mid-range players we have in the game. You got to get up on him whenever he's shooting from that area. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Davis uses the glass to finish the way. 20 points for him. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Harden outside. Fires from the wing. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They've led by as many as 14 points. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Yeah, that had to have been number one priority for the coaching staff coming into this one. Limiting those turnovers and making sure they don't beat themselves this time. Now a chance to take a look at the shot chart for the Rockets. Well, that is what it looks like when you are in the zone. He's been very efficient with his scoring and is leading the way for his team on offense. With every make, you can see the confidence growing. And I don't think he'll slow down anytime soon.
free throw good from Harden. Some changes for New Orleans. Cunningham, he's checked in for each one more. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And both free throws good for James Harden. Encouraging sign there to see him knock down the free throw. Nelson kicks to Holiday. Outside, Davis shoots the three. Harden against Holiday. Out to the right wing. Outside, Davis. A three ball. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Rockets have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Ariza kicks to Capella. Pelicans pull it in. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. Cunningham passes to Holiday. Here's Cousins. Flanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Cousins has got four this quarter. Man, when he goes to work inside, Kevin, it's just unstoppable. What a force. Screen by Capella for the lead. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Paul. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Nelson dishes to Davis. Has to Cunningham. Launches it. Kept alive. Davis with it. And guarded by Capella. Here is Nelson. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. There's a good screen. Cunningham kicks to Nelson. Screen by Cousins. Nelson, no luck. Houston in the lead. And it's Ariza in the corner. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Well, for New Orleans, shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Over in the corner, Cunningham. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Cunningham's got 13. A great three ball from Cunningham there. He shows no fear in attempting those kind of shots. Here's Harden. And sticking right with it, gets the foul That's with the good. bucket. And he'll go to the line. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. And you could try to key in on him, but that's tough. They run plays that routinely give him makeable looks. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Omer Ash, he's checked in for New Orleans. Ian Clark comes in for Drew Holiday. And a switch here also for Houston. Green's checked in. One shot. Pelicans trail by four. Here's Clark. He's got five. Dishes to Davis. The pass to Ash. Davis with a screen on Hart. Nelson, right side, four on the shot clock. Over Paul. Nelson with another miss. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. Some defenses are okay with giving up the mid-range shot. In this case, they contested. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Rockets have been coming through at the charity stretch. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Shooting two. First free throw is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 
Miller's checked in for New Orleans. And both free throws good for James Harden. Pelicans trail by six. Ashik with a screen on Paul. Nelson the pass to Ashik. Clark for three. Ariza with the rebound. For Houston, they've gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Paul against Nelson. Paul dishes to Hart. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And that's now 30 points for James Harden. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here is Cunningham. He's got 13. Out to Miller to stop the run. Cranes the three-pointer. Miller's got eight points. Well, when you see a teammate over-rotate, you're just swinging around. The perimeter's wide open. Jameer Nelson, at this moment, epitomizes the idea of having a veteran point guard on your roster. Been in the NBA since he was 22, back in 2004. And he always has played big minutes for whatever team that he gets on. So, works his way into the coach's favor. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. P.J. Tucker comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Gordon subbed in for James Harden. Nelson from outside. It's not going to go for him. Paul with the defensive effort. And Nelson in his prime break, you may recall a player who would score in the teens and run the offense. For a very smart player coming out of St. Joe's. So the idea for this young ball club to have a veteran like Jameer Nelson who's accepted his role and what it is that he knows he's capable of doing night after night, that's got to be paying some dividends for this coaching staff to have that kind of approach from a guy like Jameer. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Here's Paul. 11 points in the game. Outside Gordon. Now the dish to Green. Capella sets a screen for Green. Buries the long range jumper. Six points for him. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Here's Clark. He's got seven. Miller with a screen on Gordon. Here's Clark. Sweet little floater. Clark's got four points this quarter. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. There's the screen, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And while we can, let's have a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who have been the most efficient scorers in the NBA this month. In the third spot, Clint Capella. It would be hard to imagine him shooting the ball much better than he has. He has been on fire. Now, here is Nelson. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Well, he made one three in the first half, but he hasn't found a way to connect again from outside during the second. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. For Houston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Morris checked in for Ian Clark. And a switch here also for Houston. And Bahamute's checked in for Green. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Pelicans trail by six. Nelson kicks to Miller. Screen by Ashik. 
It's rebounded by Houston. Tucker's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Paul. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Nelson. Now Chris Paul, a player who has always had an incredible shooting percentage as a guard. Well, before last season, Chris Paul actually went through the LASIK procedure to improve his court vision. So you mean to tell me that all the way up until that point, Chris Paul was struggling with his eyesight? That makes it even more incredible. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Yeah, when is this guy, Chris Paul, going to slow down? Haven't seen it yet, Kevin. Houston making a switch here. Black's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And as he gets later and later in his career, it is clear that Chris Paul is one of the great point guards uh, Brent ever to play. Yeah, there's no question about it. Chris Paul could be the second greatest point guard ever to play in the NBA. Certainly has never dominated the way that Magic Johnson has, and most of that because of the height and not looking to score as much. But he's right there on that Stockton level, that Isaiah Thomas level. Appreciate the way he goes about his business. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Tucker with the ball. He's got eight. And Bob Mute the pass to Paul. They set the pick. Jacks up a three. Ashik pulls it in. Ashik's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Screen by Ashik. Here's more. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Now just a four-point rocket lead. Moore just recognizing he had a little more space, if you will, Kevin. Feeds to Gordon. Screen by Baamute. Kicks it to Black. Stolen by Ashik. And here we go with Miller running up the court. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. We see a chart here for the shooting performance so far for Cousins. And when you look at this shot chart, you, you get a good visual of just how often they are settling for something outside. They, they have to know that this defense wants them to take those kinds of shots, and they would be a lot better off if they recommit to attacking the basket. That free throw missing. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for the Pelicans. Hondo comes in for Nelson. And he sinks the second. A minute 42 left to play here in the third. Rondo against Paul. He dishes it to Mba Amute. Paul outside. On the wing, Gordon. Six on the shot clock. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got nine assists now tonight. And the defense knows what Eric Gordon can do, but still got it to fall over their outstretched arms. Now here's more. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. And here are the Rockets now. And the Pelicans picked up three with their last shot. Paul kicks to Mba Amute. He's off on that one. Pelicans trail by three. Over to the wing. Hondo wide open. Moves back up. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The Pelicans have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Anderson, he's checked in for Houston.
and it's tied up with that one. Well, Moore, as an efficient scorer out here, plays well within himself on the offensive end. Gordon kicks to Paul. Outside Gordon. Houston moving it around. Anderson the screen. Over in the corner, and Ba'amute. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, and then the fear sets in that you're going to create driving lanes that could lead to easy buckets. This is not an easy fix. Here's Cousins. That one a little long. Ball outside. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Yeah, and the appreciation I have for Rondo. He's able to stay with his man and then uses his speed to just affect the shot. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Rockets lead by three. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Alvin Gentry. Guys, we got to be more solid, okay? We got to be more solid defensively. Now, we got we to gotta dig in. We got to guard, okay? And then we got to execute our offense. A lot of things on that list, trying to refocus his troops moments ago, Coach Alvin Gentry. Yeah, the, the energy's all right, but the execution definitely could be better with and without the basketball. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. They've got Miller. Cunningham is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Etwan Moore. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. That's the Pelicans five. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here is Anderson. The Pelicans make their last shot. Out to the wing. Pass to Tucker. Over Miller. Gets the front of the rim and out. The Pelicans trail. Outside Rondo. He kicks it to Cousins. Cousins with a screen on Gordon. Moore dishes to Cunningham. And it's Miller in the corner. Here's Rondo. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Rondo's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. Paul for three. Again, the miss by Paul. And it's the Pelicans' ball. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. They set the pick to take the lead. And here's Miller outside. And another three for New Orleans. A lot of people feel like Moore has natural point guard ability, so I like to see him find the open man. Miller's gone three of four from distance. Only the one miss. Wow. Ball passes to Tucker. Here is Mbamute. Offensive rebound. For New Orleans, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And Cousins throws it down. Yeah, Cousins does not mess around in the post. When he's got that kind of positioning, he's going to ram it home. Timeout call the Rockets. You look at DeMarcus Cousins, what a contribution. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Here. Anthony Davis comes in for Cunningham, and it's Holiday in for Miller. Houston also making some changes. Pisa comes in for P.J. Tucker, and it's James Harden in for Gordon. 
Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He told them, now's when you turn it on. Leave them in the rearview mirror. I know we can put these guys away. We'll see if they can deliver. And here's Rondo after Trevor Ariza just hit the three. Cousins. The rebound by Harden. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. We hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. There was a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the limp. Wait, did you just say trickeration, GA? <laughs> I think it's a size disadvantage there that he was willing to attack, but you have to develop that skill set and have counters. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Houston. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The Pelicans have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And there's DeMarcus Cousins on the assist by Rondo. Rondo's got his fifth assist in this one. Paul against Rondo. Paul kicks to Anderson. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Moore. And he uses the glass on the layup. Moore's got four points this quarter. Now Moore, it can be fast. That time, a blur taking it to the rack. Inside, Capella. And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Great patience on the block, elevating with ease and then sinking the close range shot over the top of the deep. Screen by Cousins. And it's Moore penetrating. And the rejection by Harden. Moore against Ariza. Over Moore. And Houston again with the bucket. And defensively, neither side able to get many stops. Well, it's one of those nights where if a team down the stretch can get one or two stops, they may win it. Now here's Moore. Cousins with a screen on Ariza. Shot clock at six. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Rockets have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Reeves it is just to Paul. A beautiful reverse layup. Now it's a four-point rocket lead. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Rondo with the ball. He's picked up by Ariza. Screen by Cousins. Davis the pass to Cousins. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 31 points here for Cousins. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Screen by Capella. Capella with a screen on run. Paul kicks to Capella. He used that pick to get in close. Capella's got four points in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And it's Davis at the elbow. There's the pick. And they double up Davis. Here's Cousins. No good from outside. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 14-6 run. Harden, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. A good look from Holiday. Hits the jumper in space. As the ball swung to Holiday, he did not think twice, and he let it go once he caught it. Pass creating rhythm. Defense not anticipating that. Paul dishes to Harden. He feeds it to Ariza. Anderson the screen. Ariza passes to Paul. Back to Ariza from deep. And another three for Houston. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Pelicans trail by five. 
Cousins with a screen on Anderson. Here's Rondo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Gentlemen. That's on Clint Capella. And like the physicality he brings to the floor. Outstanding at drawing fouls while shooting. First one falls for him. And Rondo drops them both. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now here's Paul. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. against Harden. Davis with a screen on Ariza. A floater. No good from Moore. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. And sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. to the middle gets to the rim for two with the D all over him and that's now 18 points for Clint Capella Pelicans trail by five screen by Cousins Davis with a screen on Paul Rondo kicks to Davis shoots over Capella and there's Davis that's good on the assist by Rondo Rondo's got his sixth assist on the night Green by Capella from D. Parton. Excellent D there from Holiday. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Rondo kicks to Moore. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Well, he played a seamless first half, but in the second half, some poor decisions right here. He continues to throw the ball away. New Orleans making a switch here. Cunningham's checked in. Rockets leading by three to the middle. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. So he hits both. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunity. It's stolen by Capella. Harden against Holiday. Harden gets to a reason. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. 
Harden's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Pelicans trail by seven. And here's Rondo. There's a screen. The feed now to Cunningham. Orleans moving it around. Shot clock at five. Rondo dishes to Davis. And Capella sends it back. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. And stolen by Ariza. Passes it to Harden. Moore with the steal. And here comes Moore in the fast break. Pass to Holiday. Stolen by Harden. Jumps up. And Harden with the stop. Well, that's a pretty serious blow, guys. I mean, they are showing they want this game. Staying active defensively and putting up some quick points. Took him no time at all on that one. Cunningham's got 19 points. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. Now, here's Capella. Now Harden. Just five to shoot. It's Ariza on the wing. Here's Capella. That shot misses. Great D that time from Davis. Pelicans trail by six. Rondo passes to Moore. Dishes to Davis. Let's it go from 14. And he knocks down the jumper. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Awesome job by AD to get the ball in a favorable spot. That's most anywhere, but comes up big with that basket. Harden outside. Anderson a screen on Howard. Nice work there coming off the screen. Harden's got 39. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. Here is Cunningham. Oh, good on the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Out to the right wing. Moore against Ariza. Another shot. And it's Capella missing. Now the defense was solid there, smothering him close inside, and that's how you want to guard him. Side Rondo. Back to Moore. Paul with the steal. Harden outside. To the paint. Here's Capella. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And the Rockets lead by eight. Still attacking building on this lead coming down the stretch. Well, tonight his pinpoint accuracy has been impressive. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They trail by eight. 52 seconds left in the game. we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, James Harden. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight.
52 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Rondo kicks to Cunningham. Outside Holiday. And there's the pass to Davis. Shoots over Capella. And Capella sends it back. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Davis setting the pick for Rondo. Out left to the wing. And here's Moore outside. Buries it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. I love it when a role player has a chance like that, and each one more takes full advantage. And now we've got the intentional foul. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Shooting for Houston. Chris Paul. Two shots. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And those attempts right now at the charity stripe are helping them pull away. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're trailing by seven. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And just trying to salvage anything at this point, even if it's just some momentum heading into the next one. Well, it's all about doing your best with the time that you've been given. It's the only thing, really, that you can control as a player. So let's see what they decide to run. Here is Cunningham, and there's a whistle. That goes on Ian Clark. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. And you can live with those over-the-back calls sometimes because at least it's an effort play. We're trying to extend the possession, so you appreciate the effort. Better just to head down the court sometimes and not give up a team foul in that situation. Shooting two. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a nine-point ball game here. Well, tons of credit there on the focus level to stay calm in a huge moment, and he ices the game. Miller outside, and Baamute pulls it in. Here's Paul. So Houston wins it, and in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. James, congrats on the win. What got it done for you at the end tonight? Uh, just being aggressive. I told uh, my guys on the court. We had to make a run. It had to be a good one. Uh, defensively, we, we did a pretty good job uh, down the stretch. Um, we got some shots to fall and uh, you know, came with the victory. Great play tonight, James. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.